name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. So it's amazing to read this text. It's in the letter of Timothy, applied to our last days. And, uh, you know, 2,000 years after, we read this text and we seem to be in, you know, and we are not far from all this uh, situation everywhere. You can go everywhere now. It's a, you, you know what? It's making a sign, a sign to read the, the sign of time. It's the universal situation of the world. You can go everywhere now and you can see that the people are suffering from different misery everywhere. Many, many are suffering because of the disturbing of these people who want to control, dominate, and make the people under their boots. And we can see that in different countries. And Maria de Esperanza, you know, have this uh, revelation that everything will start with Venezuela. And we know the situation in Venezuela. The people are starving over there. Because this man, this man who, well, who was well known by the church, imagine, and that the church in the beginning support. And now he's ruling the church under his boots. So many things happen everywhere in the world. Look in Hong Kong, the situation. Look in France, the situation. In Chile, in different countries, just like last week, we have six revolutions on the street in different countries. So it's coming from everywhere. And Jesus has talked about that. And, but when we are looking with the kingdom of God, we are looking with a king. And this king is Jesus himself. And when we are seeing this picture of the king, the sacred heart of Jesus. We know that the sacred heart of Jesus will act, first of all, with love. And this is the meaning of the apparition of the sacred heart throughout the history of the church. First, with Saint Maria uh, Alacoque, yeah? in English, I think. Margaret Alacoque, yeah. And after that, with the last one was you know, with Sister Faustina, that you just heard many messages. But in 1930, when Sister Faustina received the image by uh, Jesus himself, and he asked her to give this image to the world, immediately he said that first he will come with his merciful heart. And after that, he will be the Enlightenment Day, when he will show to the people they stayed, you know. I have the blessing to win with Padre Pio in uh, heaven. And I went in purgatory, but I asked not to go in hell. <laughs> I have enough of hell on earth. <laughs> I saw so many times the face of the devil that I didn't see to know to see what's happened downstairs. So, <laughs> You know, every time we exercise, uh, it's amazing because the spirit doesn't go high. He goes down, he enters in the ground. And uh, when we, uh, we exercise, we notice that the, the spirit enters in the ground. And notice also when you have, a, if you have received that as, uh, in your day, when we pray over the people and they have, uh, you know, uh, some kind of oppression of them, they feel that it's going down, you know. It's entered in the earth. 
My believing, it's just my believing. It's Michel Roderick believing. The church, I doesn't know that the church affirmed that in the, all the, the readings I did, but this is my personal point of view here. I think that the hell is in the middle of the earth. Yeah, this is what I think. Because, you know, uh, if I think about Saint Tyranny, Saint Tyranny has built, uh, you know, in Europe, in Lyons, he built a church, and it was a druid place when he, he built this church. And uh, where was the portal of hell? It means it was a hole that the, uh, the druids have digged inside of the, the earth, and uh, the, the, the devil came out from this when they have their ceremony. So, uh, because uh, Irenaeus knows that, you know what, he built a church over there, <laughs> and he put the, uh, on the portal of hell, he put the basin for the baptismal fount. And he said to the people, never let the holy water go out of this basin. It's amazing, yeah? So I know that because, you know, I enter in this church to visit the church. And when I was there, I enter immediately. I know that was there a portal of hell in the church. And I said that to the guy who was making the, you know, the visit. I said, we have a portal of hell here. He looked at me. Which church? Uh, uh, in Lyon. The, the ancient church of Lyon. In France. Oh. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I offer you, Lord, as a sacrifice. <laughs> so, and the guy has, has said to me, yeah, it is true, but nobody knows that. And he said, this is the story of that. And he gave us the story to uh, the group who was there, you know. It's a big basin, you know. Iron one, not iron one, stone one, you know. Big basin. So what I'm telling you is because today, uh, when we are regarding the world, we know that many things happen. And uh, you know, all this uh, St. Thomas of Aquinas, when he have gave the treatise of the angel, you know, he explained to us that uh, the angel have a specific uh, role to protect the world and to balance everything in the world as the harmony of God. And they are uh, looking for that. You know, this is their role also uh, for the people. But the devil tried to broke this harmony in the world. And how he do it, some, sometimes he's allowed by the Eternal Father to make earthquake. Volcanoes. And different things who will hit you know, the stabilization of the world. In the last days, we know that uh, the elements of this world will be shaken. And it means that uh, it's another sign, what we call a universal sign. The first sign is the confusion everywhere. The confusion are under, you know, every nation now. And we can see that when we listen the news. But the other sign is, do you notice how many uh, earthquakes, how many tornadoes, how many uh, you know, volcanoes around the world now? It's a second sign. Everything is surrender under Christ the King. And because of this, the devil can do nothing if he's not allowed to do it. Why God allowed him to do it, you think? To make us aware, you know, that what will happen if we continue on this way. And this is the fact. He wants to protect us, but because our freedom is there, and we are, you know, stubborn, so what happened? He gave us some external sign to awake us for our inner sense of his presence. 
And this is how he worked with us. One of, of these uh, big uh, heaven was, uh, you know, under a condition. It was a chastisement that was, was announced in Garabandal, you know. And in Garabandal, it was an apparition in the beginning of the Council of the Vatican II. So many people today, uh, you know, are against Vatican II. They said that's not a true council. So, you know, everything is in the end of the Lord. We forgot that. And it means that the teaching of uh, the council, Vatican II, is not bad. It's always a matter of brain. It's between the ear. <laughs> you know? You can say something and another can take what you have said and because he hear in a way that he want to hear he or she will transform what you have said it's always a matter of brain between the ear <laughs> yeah it's true so this is why now the many try to you know diminish the importance of this council and inside of this, we have Garabandal, who have given us, you know, a message. A message who is also a message regarding a chastisement. And uh, we have also this message who was given in uh, this little, on this little country, the Japanese country in Akita. I have the message of Akita. And notice that uh, the Virgin of Akita is the Virgin appear also in uh, Amsterdam, you know, Our Lady of all, of all Nations. So I would like to read this message from the sister Agnes Katsuko Sasagawa. I hope I pronounce well. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> This is a message. <laughs> As I told you, if my people do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the flood, such as one will never have seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and I will wipe out a great part of humanity. The good, the bad, sparing neither priest or nor faithful. The survivor will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. The only harms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Each day, recite the prayers of the Rosary. With the Rosary, pray for the Pope, the bishops, and the priests. She announced the chastisement, and she asked to pray for the Pope, the bishops, and the priests, because they will have a role inside of these last days. A role of confirm their brothers and sisters and to fight against the Antichrist.